So about six months ago in January, I bought a five pack of a film stock that I had no idea what I was buying. I went into it completely blind, took a giant leap of faith, and it turns out it's my favorite film stock ever. <laughs> Fuji Neopan 400 is a 400 ISO film produced in Japan and then was halted in 2013. It was then later revived as Fuji Across 2 um, in 2019 but only as a 100 speed film. From my understanding they made multiple variations. They made a C41 development, one for the press, one for professionals. Um, they, and I'm pretty sure there's more than just that, but those are some of the ones that I know about. The one I ended up getting six months ago was called Fuji Neopan 400 Legacy Pro, I believe. I believe it's basically the, uh, the studio professional um, version of it. And I ended up ordering some more. Because it stopped production in 2013, it has not been easy to find um, the original that I ended up buying, with the Legacy Pro. And so I got a five pack of the press edition. Before I open up this pack in front of y'all, I am going to go ahead and flash some of my favorite shots from the first few rolls that I shot on Fuji Neopan. <laughs> Okay, so let's dig in. So I'm gonna be opening this up. I ended up buying some Fuji Neopan 400 Presto off of the Ebays. It is I bought a five pack that ended up expiring in 2000. Um, it was not stored properly, so it might not end up turning out how we think it is. The last set that I ended up showing on screen expired in 2011 um, and was stored properly. And so it turned out fantastic as y'all saw. But since this one was not stored properly, it is over 20 years expired. Who knows how this is really gonna turn out. Um, I'm hoping it's gonna be fine if we do the decade per stop rule. I really shouldn't have used a fork to open this. It made it very difficult. Oh, that's pretty cool. Some Japanese newspaper wrapping. Like I said, I ordered it from Japan. We're gonna take a look at that later, probably. Um, so yeah, it was over 20 years expired. Oh man, I'm just ripping it and tearing it apart. Oh well. There we go. Here it is. Okay, so here it is. Here's the five pack from Japan. Man, this is gonna get noisy. Maybe I ought to mute this audio. Trust the port. There we go. That might help. Fuji Neopan Presto. It's in a Japanese box too. Let's show you. The focus. We're gonna load this up into the Canon A1 program, and we're gonna go shoot. It's 24 exposures. Um, not quite as many as we'd like, but before I do that, I need to go store all that into the fridge. Um, store your film properly. Am I even filming? I hope I am. Okay, I am. Good. Yeah, store your film properly. Of 
first things first, we gotta take a dirty mirror selfie. Focus, it's just curious. We'll see how that turns out. So one of my favorite things to do when I don't really have much to photograph is I kind of just walk around the neighborhood, um, take pictures of whatever I see, whatever I kind of like, whatever catches my eye. Um, oftentimes it's just like um, houses, the way the light is hitting the house. Um, but I think instead we're gonna try and go down to the creek over by my house, um, see if we can get anything interesting there. Big dog. So, um, here's the first shot I'm gonna end up taking. Um, I've taken this picture before, but I did it on digital color. Um, so we're gonna try it here. So, um, I'm not really positive if going back in that creek is, um, exactly legal. Um, and somebody came out as I was about to go back there, um, after I got that shot. Um, so we're going to try again, maybe later. We'll see if it works out. If not, it's not a big deal, but there's some cool stuff back there. Um, so now we're going to start searching for our next shot. I think I found the next shot. Um, I've been walking this neighborhood and taking photos for several years now and I've actually never seen this composition that I'm seeing now so we're gonna grab it um, I'm pretty sure I just fucked that up I think I underexposed it like majorly trying to compensate but I did it poorly um, I'm gonna take it a second time Yeah, I'm not really that used to shooting expired film um, and having to compensate uh, for the light sensitivity. So if a bunch of these are fucked up, it may not be a problem with the film itself and maybe a user error. Um, I would not be shocked either way, but probably, probably a user error. So in Texas, we have a lot of crepe myrtles. Um, they're really gorgeous trees. Um, I usually love them on some like uh, Ultramax or some Portra 400. Um, it's going to be kind of interesting to see them on some black and white film. This is gonna be great, I think. I think this is gonna be my favorite shot um, if I just had to make a prediction. There's like four cicada shells on this fence post. Never taken a picture of a cicada shell. That is hard to say, cicada shell. But I think it might um, be kind of interesting. Who knows? Let's see.
So I went around my neighborhood. I took my photos. Um, I still have six shots left. We're going to go to the lake kind of close to my house um, and try and finish. And try and finish the roll. All right, so we uh, made it to the lake. Um, we're gonna shoot the rest of this roll and then afterwards we're gonna go back and we're gonna talk about it. Well, I was gonna go take a picture of that pelican because it was on that buoy out there and it flew away. Um, hopefully it comes back. Hopefully. finished the roll I got one exposure left um, I don't even know what I'm gonna shoot on for that last shot probably my dogs or something um, but we're going to uh, head back home and we'll talk about the photos Well, it's totally not a week later after filming all that. It is exactly the same day, I promise. So those photos are um, really kind of mundane, but there's definitely some of them that I really enjoy. What I don't like that is different from the last time I used it is there's not nearly as much contrast, but there's still something about this film stock that I really just love. One other thing is this is something that I've never really seen happen before, but the entire left side of the frame is just completely blurred and out of focus. I don't really know why. I don't know if it was a problem with the scanning or if it was a problem with my camera. I ended up cleaning it, cleaning the camera lens, cleaning the mirror. Um, I don't really know what happened. I've never seen this happen before. I've used this camera plenty of times and it's never happened before, so it might have been an issue with the scanning. Um, I really I really don't know what ended up happening, but those are the photos from Fuji Neopan. Um, I, I still really love this film stock, but after seeing this, I'm not quite sure if I love it just as much as I did. I still may be on the search for my favorite film stock. I really enjoy shooting a lot of Ektar. I really like Ilford's XP2, but we're gonna keep searching and we may be searching for a while. Regardless, I appreciate you stopping by. I appreciate you watching my video. Shouts out to Aiden um, from my job who ended up making that awesome uh, intro animation. Um, Dude is just a 16 year old kid and he is a 10 times better editor than I'll ever be I feel like. Um, so shout out to him. I'll link his YouTube channel down below. Um, so yeah. Thank y'all. <laughs>